What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers Escape from Typhoon as we join Kenajashi and myself, continuing to build our new base up after being completely wiped off the face of the island two episodes ago by the enemy. If you want to check out his perspective, there's going to be a link down below in the description, but without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, it's a beautiful sunrise over there. Yes. Well, at least it's a sunrise up here in on the rock face. It's still dark <laughs> yeah. down in our little divot that we found. But the divot keeps us safe, so we like the divot. Yes, that is true. The divot, uh, the divot protects. <laughs> Speaking of the divot, our base is looking a little different from uh, from the last time. It's been a heck of a well, night. Yeah. yeah, we've been working hard overnight, just trying to gather resources and set up the base as fast as we can. So at least we can get online and uh, get functional uh, without having to <laughs> nice jump. You know, have you guys watch the uh, yeah the early, early game stuff again? It. Yeah, we've, we've got some pretty good stuff going on here, though. Yeah. So we've been extend, expanding out our little drill system and been drilling deep into the mountain. And who knows, maybe we'll uh, wake up a Balrog or something down here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Will it do more or less damage than that ship? Uh, I don't know. It'll probably reset <laughs> us again. Oh, uh, we got this refinery. You, you planned out, designed this area here for being a uh, a resource processing and uh, storage area. Yeah. And we managed to get the uh, refinery and the assembler online and functioning. Yeah, they're happily they chomping away rock and building stuff. Yeah, and they're connected up and uh, oh, yeah. kicking butt. Yeah, it's working really well. And in fact, we've also placed um, the, the groundwork for what's going to be a little cargo station since our cargo keeps getting filled by rocks. We have two mm -hmm. giant cargo containers as well as a, a little med bay that we plan to build up at some point. Yeah, so it looks like this area the is essentially become our main processing point, this building here. And then this uh, other part here where the drills are coming out is probably get recycled here in a bit. Yeah, we, we don't, don't need really a lot of this stuff anymore. anymore. But it is functioning to uh, allow us to get these stuff built up. Yeah, but exactly. It has been very annoying <laughs> to build this all on pure stone. Yeah. Oh, it's so slow. We need to go in search of resources. We, so what I think we, we really need do. to do is we need to head out into the yonder and we we could theoretically make a boat, but I think it would be faster to fly. Uh, I think so and too, so yeah. You have never worked with the aerodynamics mod. No, not once. And so you today are going to make a plane an airplane on my first day. You're, yeah. And oh, no. uh, you're going to design it and we're going to build it together and uh, we're going to fly it out try. there. Off we go into the wild blue It'll yonder. Be fun because you only need thrust in one direction forward. Oh, that's going to be nice. Okay. Thrust and wings. So it's also very power efficient because you only need the one thruster. Ah, okay. I think that, yeah, that's all of your, that's... your lift is free. So do we want to build a, a runway, or are we good just uh, having it kind of uh, roll oh, this, onto grass? This ridge right here is more than enough to land a uh, small scout plane. Ah, okay. So we can just use this, oh, and yeah. it'll roll? We'll, we'll just I guess use it'll this roll like ridge. a rover? Uh, yeah, you just put some wheels on it. You're good. All right. Okay, well, we're going to be building a plane today. So uh, I, I'm going to check our resource our iron count at the moment. We do have 9,640. 9, yeah, we got a lot of stone and it's it took a long time to build up this amount of iron, but that should serve mm -hmm. us well. In fact, I, we can probably get the we entire should. plane done with that. Most likely we should be able to get it uh, going well. We may um, expand the drills and do another push into the mountain. But uh, how is this idle right now? Is it, if this is idle, we should probably go ahead is. and do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we should probably do that. So that it's doing something while we're uh, All right. while we're building. So do we just want to make it go further? Is it all empty? Further into the uh, mountain? I think we go wider. Wider? Maybe. Okay. Because if we 
we even if we pull like a drill like a piston back and go a bit wider oh alternatively let's just take these off and rotate them oh yeah you got it you got it so there's one side and then the other side we could do it in front hmm or we can just push this side first we could push one side first actually yeah we did get a bit of a backlog of stone last time we ran the three at the same time so this might be mm -hmm. fine Give it a nice little bit of speed, and while we build a plane, that should nice be doing low work. Nice speed here. We'll just reverse, and we'll let that uh, scrape forward. And then when we bring it back, we'll flip it and do the other side, and then we'll have extra space. Yeah, perfect. Waterbolt. All right. So a plane. Oh, I'm thinking. Uh, I'll go make a plane. I'm thinking I use this space right here. That's kind of in the way, yeah. but. Oh, well, we can always take this down. We do have the wind turbines up there now. Yeah. We can always add, we can move this turbine over to the uh, power stations too. Like to the not power station, the storage facility. I almost want to move that one wish. so that we still have it. Heck, even add another one. Why not? Yeah, we have spots for two. So let's put one right here. A second one right here. And there we go. We'll have four wind turbines like just like that. It should go pretty quickly because we have the actual assembler working now instead of just a basic. Mm -hmm, the full so we got we got that speed going for us. Low. And it does have a speed mod on uh, on the bottom of it. Yeah, we got we got crazy speed. Mm -hmm. uh, that is using us up a little uh, like a little bit of power. I think it's doubling the power the assembler's using perhaps. So having these uh, okay. extra wind turbines is going to be nice. Yeah. Production speed 200 percent Power efficiency is still at 100 percent though. Oh. Uh, but max really? required input is 1.12 megawatts. So that does sound higher. Yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> turn off the uh, turn off the um, speed, and see what it goes to. The assembler 560. Yep. So it is doubling it. Okay, so each that's speed okay. mod doubles. So if we had four speed because mods, oof, that'd be a lot. Okay, so when it comes to building a plane in the aerodynamics mod you are essentially just building a rover with wings <laughs> a like, rover with wings all right okay is this gonna be manned or unmanned way. manned we're going on this flight <laughs> so two manned okay how fancy do you want to make this do you want to uh, make this uh glider like a, glider a fancy simple looking thing or do you want to make this like uh looks like a fighter jet Ah, uh, it's gonna be really simple. In fact, you know what? Let's make it really, really simple. Let's. This is a rinky-dink little little uh, vessel. So we're gonna use the helm. Yeah. <laughs> the helm. We're using the helm. I thought you'd use. I thought you'd use something like the uh, the buggy cockpit or the. What's the buggy uh, cockpit? Rover like? cockpit. It's got roll bars on it and stuff. Ooh, okay. Maybe we'll use that instead of the helm. The helm dream will have to wait for another another ship. So what we can do is the buggy is a um, even symmetry thing. Okay. It's too wide. So maybe what we do is we make a uh, four or five. We need to make a five wide for our, our two seats. Or should we, we one in front of the other? Like, are we side by side or one in front? Let's Three actually, points. let's try one in front. Make it thin because that's going to look cool, I think. So All we right. go one, not directly in front, one a little bit lower. So like this. You see? Yeah, yeah. So do you want to make, you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll okay. do, we'll have that, we'll have a single landing gear on the front and two on the wings. And you want to do that, uh, yeah, the two wide. How do you do like a landing gear? You said it was like a wheel? Yeah, well, you can just do a wheel or as so press your G menu and go down to Takashi at the bottom and there are plane suspensions there are plane wheels ah. that are different and they like instead of like regular space engineers wheels come out the side yeah of something these go on the bottom I see are there any that would fit nicely in this 2x2 two two area or would we have to do kind of like wheel wheel like that uh what we could do, I'm trying to think about here, is you can have, 
we should actually raise this up so we have more room to uh, do this. Do well, those wheels were a bit big anyway. Cut this away and like add like three more blocks up or something, and then let's build it up again. Okay. Do we have more room to uh, design the undercarriage? Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe two like that. I want. I would love to go like one in the middle, but I don't think we can with this uh, with this configuration. So we might just have to go sure. two. That's looking good. Um, and I think I've gone back on this actually. This little bit right here, I think, is, needs to go back a little further. Maybe one more, and then it can come up. So we're kind of, you thinking? What are we going to be even on the wheels, or is this going to be like a tail dragger? Um. Mm, we have the two wheels this... on the front right here, and then the wings will have wheels under them. I'm thinking, if we can. Oh, the wings are going to have wheels. So the wings are going to have to be low. Are we going to have wings on the bottom of it? Like underneath us? Uh, or are the wings going to be above us? So you want that one. I'm thinking like a glider wing, wing, you know? Like a one big. One X, X, one. And it's the one with the plus symbol, so you can rotate through them. OK. Ooh, they are so large. Essentially, there is a bunch of different wings shapes that are all like different depths. Ah. The slant. So the deeper the slant, the more like a like a fighter plane kind of thing it is, and more like the straighter the slant, the more like a commercial airline. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This makes sense. So you could theoretically put a wing on like this, and you just extend it back. See that? I was thinking like that right there. Oh, okay. That's how you make like a big glider. Yeah, you see how the wing, how the slant, it just slants into each other? Yeah. And then you fill in the back with uh, just regular blocks. Which one did you use there? Because I like that. That is a 2 by 5 by one rounded edge. 2 by 5 by one rounded edge. Okay. Well, we can have our wings underneath us, or we could have the wings above us. All, of, all whatever you want to do. No, let's do that. Let's do what you were doing right here. Oops, I made a big one. Oh, <laughs> you placed it on. I like having the long wing. So then uh, we need to, to round it out. How do you, do you use this rounded edge one to round it out like that? Uh, that's one way you can do it, yeah. And then um, what about this interior? There's thing, there is something inside. There's a thing called a wing fill, one by one by one. Oh, and you just, okay, and you just plop it in there? It, you just fill in the wings like this. Ah, okay, so we'd have large wings like this, which I like. Yeah, we should have plenty of lift with this, like plenty of lift. Okay, and then we probably need a tail, right? Uh, it would be beneficial. How do I make it smaller? <laughs> ah, I like this actually. But also because our we're even symmetry, we might want to like expand and have two tails <laughs> can we do that <laughs> we have two tails okay let's keep the middle hotels. let's keep the middle nice and uh even and we'll just do something like this we'll go uh like expand it slightly and then yeah. put a tail on each end on, on each thing boom a tail you good yeah that's what you want that's good, yeah. Something like that. And then guess what? This is now an easy way to get up onto the ship. And we have a fuselage. Well, we have the entire plane. Yeah, so now you have to think about power. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that thing. That that space engineer's mechanic. Uh, well, we have a lot of space over here, so I'm thinking maybe some uh, batteries. Could potentially use... Yeah. Maybe we want to cut away slightly. Why don't I make a little scaffolding so this doesn't fall off? We could and just toss it these battery. fixed together. Yeah, I was thinking we can put a battery there, or you could also like cut away the floor and like sink the battery in. Or oh, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We have the bottom uh we have the bottom uh fuselage bit, so it shouldn't make everything fall. Oh, yeah, I also made this little scaffolding so it wouldn't fall. Uh, do we need it on the other side? Oh, no, 
the should be fine. Okay. We'll go ahead and toss our warfare battery up there. Okay, so we'll have our battery, and we're probably gonna want like a little cargo. Uh, are we gonna carry anything on this? Potentially. I, I mean, if we're if we're going, point. it'd be nice to have uh, a, maybe like a tiny cargos. Let me see if I can put this on small grid. Does this fit? No, I was looking at the cargo crate. Okay, so you can put things under the wings. So we can actually put wheels on there. Uh, yeah, but I wonder if we need to. If we just put some wheels uh, back here. Yeah. Like there, kind of area. See where that block is? Yeah. We could just land on our wheels. Okay. Because there is a wheels. Um, there's a wide wheel. Yeah, yeah, I see the one you're talking about. This yeah, one, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that might be a nice one to land on. It's gonna have us facing like tilted forward, because it's so big. Mm -hmm. Well, you can swap them. You can put the big wide wheels on the front and the little wheels in the back, and that way it's a tail sitter. Like it sits down on the tail, nice close to the ground, and uh, it gives us a default upwards tilt. Okay. So yeah, it's a little easier that. to take off and such. There we go. It looks like a little car. Yeah, essentially. Okay, so oh, did we please. ever add... Um, welded. Did we ever add that um, headlight... Uh, yeah, headlight mod? Should be. Should be AMA um, yeah. spotlights. Okay, so we'll probably want to add a spotlight or two. Or maybe just one. Uh, well, we there's... Oh, the MA spotlight pack is freaking amazing. And what we can do is there is one that we can put on the front. Uh, oh, it's it's a three, three wide, so it's not gonna fit nicely. But it's it's got this um, like one is straight forward and two on either side are at forty five degrees. They're amazing. Ah, oh, I see. Is it the light bar? Yeah, the light bar. Yeah, it's nice, but it would be off center. It wouldn't be really annoying. Yeah, you're right, it would. Alternatively, you could put the light bar on, say, like underneath our wings or something like that, if you wanted, or you can just put some spotlights on the wings. Yeah, maybe let's put them on the wings. Whatever you want. Don't forget your gyro. That would be a good thing to have. And then you gotta paint your, your plane however you want it. Oh, we'll paint it. We will paint it. I'm thinking, uh, maybe like a red, you know? Mm -hmm. Red goes fast. Red goes fast. That's a proven scientific fact. Yeah. I'm also thinking we remove this right here. And hopefully nothing falls. And I'm going to add a an ore detector. Because we have detector components in theory. So an ore detector, that's going to allow us to kind of like... If we go to an island, we can kind of like... Fly low, and we should be able to see the oars. Yeah, or when we see a spot, we can land and uh, just roll over to it on our wheels and see what it is. Ah, yes. Now we're gonna need some thrusters too. Yeah, but you got a nice spot there between your uh, your vertical stabilizers for them. Right here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go for the good sci-fi atmospherics. We're gonna go one, two. Yeah, these headlights look cool. These spotlights, they look like old uh, yeah. old car headlights. And also, they are very clean. You know how the normal headlights have like that bar texture across them? Yeah. These don't have that. And these headlights, they reach out to like 500 meters. Oh, wow. It's like ridiculous, they're great. Yeah, I've used the uh, extended headlight mod before, which is really nice. Or extended spotlights. But it uses a lot more power. Three more motors. All components. Got All right, it. that should be the gyro Rushes done as online. well. Yep, same with the gyro. So we should, at this point, have everything we need to fly. Theoretically. We'll go ahead and build this up here. Build that, nice. Okay, it's looking good. Let's cut it loose. Yeah, we can cut it loose. 
Don't get crushed, though. Alright, maybe need a little strength on those wheels. But I'll, I'll make it red here as well, real quick. We'll get a nice paint job going. Well, that animated gyro is gonna be so silly. <laughs> Look at it. Do you see it, like, falling behind when I try to... Oh my gosh, away? yeah! <laughs> Can you give those wheels a little bit of strength? They're, uh, they're, they're, uh... Riding low. Although maybe that doesn't matter that yeah, much. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give it this armor on the wings. Well, that's kind of military. That's not uh, that we bad. We probably slap a temporary connector on this thing and plug it in and get it recharged. Oh yeah, good call. I could use a small connector, perhaps. <laughs> Red and blue. Yeah, um, well, uh, I'm thinking maybe we go with a... Uh, okay, okay. Let's redo it real quick. That and blue. Oh, hey, that even just looks fine. I'm thinking the blue, because it'd be camouflaged with the sky and with the ocean. There we go. The first plane. Made of carbon Ooh, blue fiber. Blue and black. Blue and black. What's its name? It's gonna be called the, uh... The... The... We can't call it the flyer, because that'd be rude to the other ship over there, the, the floater. No. We'd have to call it the, um... The Mark One. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me think on the name here real quick. <laughs> Alright. I need to sleep Recharging on Recharging battery. <laughs> Alright. You have 13 minutes until the battery's recharged and we can go. This animated gyroscope is going to be hilarious. <laughs> we can deanimate it. True, I can take that mod off, but it's going to be fun. I want to see it when it's flying. The, the gyro is just going to be lagging behind us and constantly, like, zipping back to rejoin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to call this the sky plane. <laughs> sky? What? Blue. <laughs> it's blue. It's we gotta give it more interesting name than Sky Plane. Well, let's call it Henry. I don't know what. <laughs> Henry? All right. It's, it's now named Henry. This is Henry the Plane. Henry. Okay. Let me let me put a little face on it. This will be Henry, our navigational assistant, who flies with us. It'll be like, please fly left. Your destination is on your right. All right, well, I'm going to put a little antenna on Henry. OK. If you want to match the other side so it's even. Uh, you could, or are you putting it back there? Wait, what is that? Is that an antenna? It's a plane antenna. Oh. It's part of the plane cool. mod. That's pretty neat. So that's what you want? Henry? Henry, yeah. This is Henry. Look, Look at the antenna. Says Henry. <gasps> Henry! Uh, and then, so over here, uh, where's my letters? I'm not gonna spell out all of Henry because I don't think we have enough space. But if I do like, we can do it on the wings. Can you fit it on the wings? Henry? There's oh, I guess you can. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's do Henry on each side. <laughs> You're falling in love with your little plane. Yeah, because we gave it a name. Oh, you want this motion controller? Yeah, that's that's Henry, the uh, the navigational assistant. That is actual Henry. Oh, uh, okay. N? Nope, that's a Z. Uh, Z can be an N. Yeah. N. Re. Uh, would sure. you like any air brakes? You can do air brakes. Yeah, we should probably yeah. have some air brakes. Okay, I will make a few air brakes. Oops, I accidentally made the uh, connector blue. See, air brakes fully deployed. Oh yeah, that's worked pretty well. It's like pre-flight yep, checks. I got it on there, so you can just press a button to open and close those. And otherwise than that, Henry's battery is re fully recharged in five minutes. Okay. We're almost ready to go. I've covered up Henry a little bit with my uh, safety railings. Well, you could put uh, you could put 
put a little block on the front here and put Henry facing you in the cockpit. Ah, oh, that's not a bad idea. Or you could put Henry back here overlooking us. Yeah, actually, I like that. Do railings work. work on uh, small grid? No. I don't know. I would love if they made like a small grid version of everything, even if it didn't seem like it would be useful. Because someone would find it use. Well, you can always super grid it if you like. Super grid? Do you know what super gridding is? No. What's super gridding? So you take a block. So say you take a th uh, some like random thruster or something like this. Like a large grid version of it. Okay. And let me just, you know, that thing. Yeah. It's a big, large It's ominously thruster, rolling towards you. Right? <laughs> okay. You would then blueprint it. And then you go into the blueprint files and you manually change it from large grid to small grid. And then when you place it through that blueprint, it'll act as a small grid thruster, but it'll have the visuals of a large grid. What? That's and so you can cool. you can bug certain things into um, existence and have like uh, some large grid looking block, but on small grid. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. It'll only act as a small grid thruster, like in terms of like the, yeah. So for functional the, things, that wouldn't the thruster change like much. The thrust values and such. Yeah, I, I, as far as I remember, but it visually looked large. Oh, that is neat. So this is an example of a, a super grid. So go ahead and walk into it. Oh, what the heck? So if you take out a block, just so you can like try like, trying to place something. Yeah. Right. You can see that there's only one actual physical block, and that's the, oh the small gosh. block down in the, the, the bottom. Yeah. So this is a small grid, small thruster with a large grid, small thruster body. So if you ever look into your options and it says like enable super gridding, it's enabling you to be able to use those items. Yeah, I've always seen that option. I never knew what it was, but now I know. Mm -hmm. That is super gridding. And uh, theoretically, if you wanted to, we can use that in our um, our builds. Yeah, if we wanted to add actual railings or something, but I, we probably don't mm -hmm. need them. But we are fully charged. We're fully charged. All right, let's get this thing disconnected, backed up. I want to give it a nice nose for a second before we go. Because that's what it's missing here. Uh, are there nose blocks? Uh, there's probably something like that. Here, I'll let's back see what they've got. I'll back that ass up. They've got, <laughs> they've got tube covers. I don't know what this means. You looking at the Takashi blocks? <laughs> they've got those. We need like a two by two one, <laughs> if they have that. <laughs> Wait, I can't delete that now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do they have two by two? They have one by one. I think, the, which... I think the tube is for like rotary stuff. You you gave her, you gave her plain nipples. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know, I, I just wanted you to- gave Henry a boob job. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's get rid of that. We, we, we don't need that for Henry. And we are built up. Alright, so All one right. of these seats should be the pilot seat, and one should be the non-pilot seat. But ideally, if we have a button that we can click that would transfer pilot ship to the next person, that'd be helpful. Uh, I can make the one down here the main cockpit. Okay. I think that would be best. And this will be the, uh, the gunner seat one? Seat with higher priority is already occupied. Uh, what? So, I do not have control. You have control. I don't have control. Unless I press P. No, I don't have any control. What? Really? Let me see. This one? Yeah, this one doesn't have control. I'll do the universal fix for bugged things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry has been respawned. There we go, okay. fixed. All right, do you want to fly? Uh, unless you want to give it a go. 
I can give it a go. We'll see if latency plays uh, too big of a role in this. All right. Getting her lined up. We just taxiing. Taxiing her out here. And you should just be able to just fly off the edge of the cliff here. All right. Uh, make sure we know where our home is. I'm going to mark it real quick. GPS. <laughs> home. All right. You ready to go? Punch it. This is Henry 1. Just cleared for takeoff. Rolling. Just. Ah! What the <laughs> it just <laughs> went. What the heck? I didn't know we had a catapult takeoff or whatever. I'm going to turn your wheels off so they're not going to be f freaking out. <laughs> We're flying. Yo. Okay. You oh, man. You can use your overrides I set up. Overrides. Set, set like a. Like the one and two. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. First. That's the throttle. Okay. Yeah, you can set an override and uh, we can just coast. Oh, this is so cool. We're flying. So uh, we have five hours of flight time. That should be enough. So we're trying to head. I, I noticed the regional headquarters, by the way. There's a regional headquarters over there that's popping up on my uh, on my hop bar that we didn't see before. Yes. So uh, that's a little farther than this iron mining outpost. I don't know if we want to go to the iron mining outpost, or did you say you saw an island that's kind of uh, well? There is, there is an island. It's a little hard to see, but it is to our east. To our east. Um, yes. All right, we're gonna try it and go to our east here. It's just a bit over the horizon. Okay, let's go to our east. I need a bit of a trim or something. This this uh, uh, this plane likes to go up. Uh, yeah. Um, you can also you, you get your gyro. You can turn on and off an override once you get yourself level, right? Yes, actually. I need also, to give us we more, are uh, close to the ocean. Yeah, here. sorry. I needed to give us more speed. I was trying to use W to give us more speed, and it wasn't working because we have the override. So once you got yourself in a good uh, orientation. You can just hit your override and hopefully it'll lock you in and hold you in position. Oh, how 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 does that work? That's cool. I need to give us more speed here. We're 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 getting a little closer yeah. to the ground. And I think you need to go a little bit north here. Oh sorry, a little north. Yeah. Yeah, go east northeast. Alright, here we go. There's our heading. And, and let's lock uh, it. Maybe Maybe full northeast right now. I can see the mountain on my third person when I pull the camera out. Full northeast. Oh, you went past northeast. This is northeast, yeah, right? Yeah, you're north northeast. Oh, sorry. Back to the right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're heading straight towards it now. Perfect. There we go. Just a little, uh, that's, that's why you're the navigator. <laughs> oh, I see it, yeah. And here we go. This is so cool being able to fly like this. Yeah. I'm going to lock us to gain a little and bit of altitude. We're slightly losing. It's hard to tell the altitude because it, it's not detecting off the water. It's detecting off the land under the water. Yes. So it's a little strange. So do, <laughs> do not go over by the altitude sensor. Just look down. <laughs> yeah. We're on a plane. This is so cool. So that island to the left, that's where the uh, that must be where the 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 enemies we retreated from were, right? Yeah, that's that was their base. Okay. The island behind us is our island. So we just need to be and... very careful about that. Pitch down mm -hmm. a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, so we have that island over there. I don't actually see the uh, this iron mining outpost island. Supposedly it's over there. Uh, it's probably over the horizon. Yeah, it might be over the horizon here. Whoa, whoa, enemy! Well, where? Okay, I'm, I'm. Turn, turn. turn. Uh, where's Get my? Get off! Yep, yeah, I'm turning. Where's, where's the enemy? Is it that guy? I you see two see the antenna. I see two antennas. I see four antennas. There's something there. Okay, that was a quick turn. How do we want to? Where do we want to go? Well, if they're, you want to maybe try to circle around them, try to get to the back. Well, side there, of that there's island. one at the island that we're going to. Yeah. Oh, there's also one out in the ocean. Oh, I didn't see that one before. 
Yeah, so we can try to maybe cut around. I mean, it's pretty hard to get around these guys. We can go through them, right? Right in between each one. Full speed right there. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's enough room. We can split the difference here. Can we get between them. I'm going to... Okay, we're at full blast here. Or maybe I don't want to be at full blast. I don't think they can hit us at that range, though. Even if they see us. And by the way, we're blue, so we're, we're camouflaged a little bit here. But we have an antenna over there, which worries me. Yeah. Is I that wonder, a base? Uh, what these are. If I have oh, no, these look like boats. Are they? They did just kind of pop in at three kilometers, and I'm guessing that's usually what the boats do. Okay, we, I think we got past them undetected, thanks to our blue camouflage. Oh, of course. And we need to... I wonder uh, if that is a... Because that one over there on the island isn't moving. Yeah. Yeah, no, but it's this not. This one over here... I'm I think this one in the ocean is... That's in the ocean. That's a boat. The one on our right? Yeah, yeah. One that one must be a boat. Now? This one here to our left, though, that's not moving. I think Although that could, could be a station. Could also be a boat that's crashed into the island. <laughs> true, true, yes. Okay, but so we're interested. Want, what we could do is we could pull in th in the back end of this island here, and you could put us down on, like, the top of the island, and we could take a peek and try to take a look at what what's there. Maybe there's something we can sneak up on. Maybe there's something we can salvage. Okay, I'm going to bring us down to manual control again. Mm-hmm. And remember your air brakes, if you need to, it'll four. Slow, slow you down a lot. So, okay, probably for landing. So how do so you land this thing? you want put this down? How does one put it you down just, in one piece? You just go, you just go slow and find a nice gentle spot to put her down. See, I'm noticing there's not a lot of gentle spots here. Unless maybe there's could I... There's a big enough spot there. Like here? See the few trees there, that little pit, piece of grass? You could probably... You talking about up here? Put her down right here, sure. Just slow it down, let go of W, glide in. Just right. manage your momentum by, like, managing your pitch. All right, yep, we are gliding speed. pretty well, actually. Down. Uh, thanks to those big wings, we're, we're very good at gliding. Oh, hard landing, but there we're here. Go. Press P for park. And we're out <laughs> in one piece. You know what they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. There, you, you flew and landed your first plane. Yeah, the Henry. <laughs> good, good job, dude. Thank you. Uh, good navigation. All right. So, so we're we'll gonna go Henry check that here. Out. Yeah, Henry and probably won't be spotted thanks to its uh, camo. This is. Okay. Now we're within range of shots, by the way, so be very careful. Yes, I'm just gonna poke my head over the the ridge line here. Where did you go? Just a quick poke. Oh, I'm just ahead. Oh, I see. Okay, there's another little bit of ridge line here. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Oh, there's even more ridge line. You can get pretty close to this thing. Yeah, if we had weapons, we could potentially even fire at it. But well, we might have to uh, get prepped and come back. What are you seeing from here? Oh, I see what you're saying. The other ridge line. Yeah. It's a it's a beached boat. It's a beached boat. Okay. Uh, is, are the weapons active? Probably. I have no idea. Are you third personing it or are you actually looking? I'm I'm jumping. <laughs> oh, good call. To get a peek and then fall back down. It's a beach cargo boat of some kind. Yeah. I do not know what it has for. Well, for I see cargo. like vehicles on there. What? There's like is three. It, yeah, you see this? Is it hauling vehicles? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, dude. Um, do I mean we could drill tech under it, you know? <laughs> Go sapping. Um, yeah, we could. Uh, uh, we could also. I don't know. It's a cargo boat. Do you think it's armed? I think all those antennas are scary. We can try and get close. It hasn't shot at us yet, so either it hasn't seen us or. Or maybe it doesn't have any weaponry. It might not. 
do you feel confident being able to fly the plane back if I die? I, yeah, I think so. Because I could just do a little flyby and see if it shoots me. Yeah, give it a go. I'm going to stay back a little bit so that if it... Uh, and if I die, then I can... You respawn, I'll, I'll, I'll come pick you up. And I can, I can start getting some weaponry ready and you can come back with the flyer. Okay. And then we can come back here and we can uh, get this thing. All right. <laughs> do it. All right. Let's go see. Let's, let's see. Uh, Good luck. Yeah, here, you take my bottle. Quick, before it rolls away. There we yeah. go. Uh, three, and a two, and a one, and a go. Good luck. A little blue dot. Whoa, no, sh no shooting yet. Okay, that's a good sign. What do we get? I'm, I'm, I'm going in to investigate. Okay. Could be interior turrets. Be careful. There's some kind of trucks. Trucks? Some okay. Kind of like off-road vehicles. They don't have any wheels. They probably just have to build them in place. Should but I come in? You're not being the... shot at. Uh, let me just let me double check here. I hear some hydrogen engines running. I'm just gonna grind something, get control of it, and see. It just turned blue. It, it... Oh yeah, that's me pulling out my. Okay, that's hostile takeover. That mod. Oh, it turns it blue. Allows you to see which grids you need to grind down in order to go for something. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I'm gonna just get a, this button panel, get control of it, so I can look at the control panel, and search turret. There's no turrets on this thing. Get All right, I'm coming here. in. I was the designated uh, f flyer, <laughs> just in case. Okay, can I have my bottle back? You can have your bottle, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to lose it in case I die, but now I need it. There you go. <laughs> Dang. So look at this. They're like, they're like off-road trucks. Yeah, they don't have wheels, but we could easily add wheels. Oh, totally. But there's like three off-road vehicles, and then we've got a cargo boat, and it's like it's got like a hinge cargo ramp down here. Oh, neat. Maybe maybe we take this. Can we yoink this? Why don't we yoink? I think one of us flies, one of us drives, and we've come back with a pretty good haul. Here, let me help you yeah. out there. Do you want to boat back or plane back? Uh, I think I can plane back. I think I can probably handle the plane. Um, there was a rock yeah. up on the top of that mountain, and that might actually have some ore in it. Yes, we still do need to find some ore, but if we find this boat... That's a lot we'll of materials. Use this boat to now, uh, get, get stuff... Uh, anything on the water is a risk. Because that, that destroyer-looking thing up. could always come back. Put your components back in. There we go. That door... There we go. ...belongs to us now. Now it's our door. Okay. And you have been hacked. Now the thing's ours. Hey! Nice! Perfect. And does this give us all the stuff? Oh, all it does. It gives us everything. I think. Yeah, it's giving me hydrogen, I think. Oh yeah, because you're using it. That's why I can't use it. Right oh yeah, that, that was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll beach. Well, it's not that beached, is it? Uh, maybe wiggle, it's a wiggle, little bit wiggle, beached. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And we're floating again. Nice. Yeah, I guess they went a little too hard into that island. Ah, thrusters were on override. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was going. Okay. Okay. Well, we needed that win Sweet. after after getting our entire base decimated. Uh, you want to go grab Henry? I'm gonna go check out that rock real quick, and then I'll grab Henry. I want to see if that's um, because we have a cargo ship here, right? If we find ores here, now would be the best time to bring him back with a cargo ship at our disposal. True, but I kind of want to get out of here because I'm afraid of more people coming back. Okay, we can get out of there. Can I grab a little nickel up we... here? I can maybe grab a little bit of this. Nickel? Okay, you grab a little bit of that. Like, fill your inventory. Yeah. But the sun's going down, and I'm going to start sailing. Okay, start sailing. Henry's going, faster yeah. anyway, probably. Maybe. You can come buzz the tower. Fly over me when you come by. Oh my gosh, okay. Just don't fly into me. 
<laughs> a fox too. <laughs> no. Please no. <laughs> is it the front cockpit? Oh yeah, okay. All right, this is Henry requesting clearance for takeoff. Clearance. Thank you. <laughs> Henry is taking off now. You are cleared for takeoff. Awesome. Henry is now taking off. Uh, let's hope this works. Wait, 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 whoa, why is it not going up? Okay, no, it is going what? up. It is going up. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, for a second, for a second, the, the, thro the, the gyro wasn't responding, but it's okay. No catastrophic cla uh, crashes today. <laughs> All right. We'll come and uh, do a flyover as we uh, Yeah, get ready, back get to, ready to take a screenshot if you want a screenshot of the flyover. Uh oh, I'm recording in the third person here. I'm not going to be able to because otherwise I'll, I'll definitely crash into you trying to take a screenshot. <laughs> How fast am I going? Let's get a little faster. I'm I got still... my spectator camera out. Ready to get the... Uh, trying to get somewhat close without... Getting Henry flying past us. Yep. There it is. There you are. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm a little bit faster. Not a crazy amount, but fast enough. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to, I can also increase the um, top speed. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that would make sense but, for a plane. Because what are you going right now, 40? 40. So I can increase the top speed um, for the next um, episode. And you can go more like 60 or 70. That would be plane. cool. Howdy. Are you coming for the pass? For the pass. <laughs> I could probably land on you if I if we had a second Henry that I what the hell? that I didn't mind destroying this if one. I, if you match direction and I'm going at speed, you would only need to like slow down a little bit and you could theoretically land on me. Ah, yeah, that's true because we're going roughly the same. Like you're a little slower, but not that much. Yeah. Hey, do you want me to get rid of that antenna in your way? You can try to land on my my head. I think I'm going to destroy Henry trying this. Do you want to try it or not? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's, let's give it a go. Why not? Okay, well, give me a second to get rid of this antenna or you're going to... Are you, you clear, clear the LZ? And I'll, uh, I'll attempt to land. Besides, I want to get rid of this antenna so that the, uh, we're not giving off our signal. Uh, just give me two minutes. Okay. All right. How fast well, are you LZ is clear. Uh, I'm currently going 15. Oh, you're way slower than I am. Hey, Bricks. As I'm... <laughs> you're coming in. This is the Henry. We are coming in for a potential landing. Oh, there it is. Park it. Park it. I parked. I parked. It's not parking. <laughs> Oh my go, god! Go, go, go. <laughs> go around! Go around! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! The this parking brake. Wanted to. I was parked, but we, I, I need like a a uh, a mag plate or something. Okay, if we want to, we could, um, we could extend this out, and we could actually make a landing spot. We make like an aircraft on carrier. Top of this, we can make this into a little aircraft carrier for Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. That'd be really cool. Mm. But we need to attach the uh, a, a, a mag plate probably on the ship. If we attach it on the aircraft carrier, it, it kind of looked like a one of the, the lines. You know the lines they put? The mm -hmm. slingshot things? Yep. Yeah, it'd be like one of those. Or you could just put a little piston on Henry with a mag plate on the bottom. That when yeah, you land, yeah. you just press the piston and the mag plate will grab for you. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's for now, I can see you flying off. You're heading on home. I will be there <laughs> eventually. And for now, I think that's going to be this episode. Uh, while this scenario taketh away, scenario also giveth 
<laughs> it bounty sure does. Of uh, loot. As we, we have a large grid ship that we are going to be able to use as a mobile base and able to go on some pretty awesome adventures with it. Hopefully that uh, patrol ship doesn't come back and blow us the, the hell up. So we're going to have to find a way. Uh, first thing I think in the next episode is either find a way to get this up into the divot where it's safe or find a way to hide this somewhere. Yeah, maybe we need to make our own little cove or something. We'll figure it out. Something. Mm-hmm. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Mm -hmm. See you next time. And that is going to be the end of Episode 4 of Space Engineer's Escape from Typhoon. Not only do we end the episode with a new plane, but we also end the episode with a ship. And that's going to come in handy in the future. If you liked that episode, please go ahead and leave a like and a comment below as well, and I will see you all in the next episode of Escape from Typhoon.